right, Jem, we are Bacula and Spectacular. Ready for another year of Ask SP Questions. Yes, and I, for one, am feeling fresh, fine and fabulous after the break. Plus, I see the GGSP inbox is jam-packed. Jam-packed? Who put jam in there? No, no, jam-packed with queries. Oh. Right. Which we better get into, starting with a video question from... <laughs> it's from Rad's Dota 2 assistant. Oh, hey, friend! Hey, GGSP, Rad's Dota 2 assistant here, and I've got two questions for you. Number one, when will Terraria 1.3 come to mobile? Number two, is Subnautica going to be released on the Nintendo Switch? For now, that's it. See you. Why, thank you, my Dota 2 assistant, the most favourite of my assistants, and many thanks for your assistance. Now, in answer to your first query about when the Terraria 1.3 version will be coming to mobile, well, there's been confirmation that it's in the works and apparently due to arrive at some stage in 2019. It's also coming to the Nintendo Switch. But, of course, in the world of game development, little is ever certain, right, Rad? Mm. So you might want to keep an eye out on the Terraria sites for news and updates. I guess you could try playing a certain other game in the meantime. Time, though. Oh, which game would that be? The waiting game! Ah, oh, boo, the waiting game is no fun. As for if Subnautica is going to be released for Nintendo Switch, I haven't heard any specific plans for this thus far. Some have even suggested that the Switch's hardware might not be able to handle Subnautica in its current form, at least. But I suppose that is debatable. There is a new Subnautica expansion that's just hit early access, though. Yes, below zero. That looks pretty cool. I see, in fact. Now to another cool question from Vicky in Kempsey, New South Wales. Hi, I have heard that Super Smash Bros Ultimate has something called Echo Fighters. It has something to do with additional fighters. I just want to know if it's true or not. P.S. I love that Pichu, Isabel, Corin, and Krom are in this one. P.S.S. I've watched this show for a long time and it still keeps me coming back for more. Well, thanks, Vicky. If you're wondering about Echo Fighters, well, I think we should ask Darren to explain this. As much as I love Smash, sometimes the systems can be a bit complicated. That's some good thinking, Jem. Darren knows. Hello, Darren speaking. Hey, Darren. It's Jem and Rad at the Ask SP desk. Um, Vicky was wondering about Super Smash Bros Ultimate Echo Fighters. What are they and are they in Super Smash Bros Ultimate? Affirmative, Jem. Echo Fighters are certain playable characters on the Super Smash Bros. roster that are basically duplicates of other characters, perhaps with some slight alterations. Uh, for example, there's Dark Samus, who is an Echo Fighter of Samus, and Daisy, who is an Echo of Princess Peach. There's also Lucina, Dark Pit, Krom, Richter, and Ken. Bring it on! Oh, is there any benefit to using an Echo Fighter opposed to an OG character? I don't believe so, aside from personal preference. Oh, well, informative as always. Thanks for the informative information, Darren. I echo that gratitude. Thanks, Darren. My pleasure, my pleasure. Wait, I think you're echoing, Darren. We have an Echo Darren on the line. I just said it twice, Rad. All righty. Now I think we might have time for one more quick question. How about this one from Aaron in Mandura, WA? Just wondering who is going to be replacing Goose on Good Game Spawn Point and when it will air again in 2019. If possible, could I be a host on Good Game Spawn Point someday? I love gaming and started when I was a kid. Thank you, Aaron. To your first question on who will be replacing Goose, well, can Goose ever truly be replaced? I like to think of it more as welcoming someone new and unique into the GGSP family. Family! Besides, Goose has left some pretty big shoes to fill. I mean, like, actual shoes. Oh, why would he leave these here? Is he just walking around barefoot? Oh, weird. Anyway, I'm sure we'll find out who our new person is very soon. Wait, don't, you don't think that's what's in the package that Darren ordered? <gasps> that sounds like a totally Darren thing to do. Although, I hope they're okay in there. Uh, as far as when GGSP will air again in 2019, well, it looks like it may be happening, um... Let's see... Uh, oh, Right now! Yes, we're officially back to our old tricks again. With segments rolling out online Monday to Friday, and then the full episode on ABC Me, Saturdays at 9am. Oh, great promo skills there, Jem. Now to whether you might someday get to be a host on GGSP. Well, I say shoot for the moon. And even if you miss, you might uh, get to see Barjo on the way. Is that the saying? That is definitely the saying. And hey, I started out as a young fan of the show myself, and here I am. So you never know. Anything is possible if you stay true to the GGSP motto. Be nice, have fun, and keep gaming. Plus, you could always apply to be considered as one of our U-reviewers. Info on how to do that is on our website. 
Or you could try sending us a video question. We love those. And on that note, we're out of time. If you have a question you'd like to see us scratch our noggins over, head here and send it in. Aw, oh, ye old website swish. How I've missed ye. We should also mention we'll be continuing the tradition of rewarding all those whose videos make it onto the show with a special GGSP pin. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Even more reason to keep those vids coming on down the pipeline. Now, Jem, I think we really got to go open that box. I want to meet our new co-host. You're right. Hang on. Darren? Hello, Jem. Meet us in the studio right now, and I mean right now. Oh, and bring your laser. Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> Let's get to the bottom of this.